10 years ago, I pulled into this parking lot, Fiesta Mall parking lot, and I looked at that building and I considered jumping. I was at the lowest point of my life. I was failing school. I was living in my parents' basement, smoking weed and drinking all the time. But my biggest problem was I had a huge, huge porn addiction. And I just hated myself. I hated myself. I felt like I was just a waste of space. And I just felt this world would be better without me in it. I remember looking at that building and I drive by it every day on my way home from school. And that day when I pulled into this parking lot, I said, today's the day. I just remember feeling something in my heart. Just saying, go home. Just one more time. Go home one more time. I remember going home, seeing my dad. He saw that I was hurting. He just let me know that he loved me. That he was there for me. And that act of love and kindness helped save my life. I'm so glad I didn't jump. Because that moment gave me the strength to stand back up and go back to school and get that degree. And just to keep fighting every day that it could be better that there was someone out there that loved me, that I could make a difference. And after I graduated, I was able to meet my future wife, the most amazing woman I've ever met. And then we were able to both get great jobs and I was able to help provide for a good life for me and her. Now we have two beautiful children. And now <laughs> we've left that old job and we started a new organization that helps people overcome porn addictions. And we're helping to inspire other people. We're at where I was at when I was at my lowest. I think the whole point of this video is just, if you're down and out, never give up. Never give up. There are people out there that love you, that care about you. There is a God that loves you. Never give up because life can be so much better than you could ever imagine. And every time I walk by or drive by this building, I'm always just reminded of what would life, what would life have been like if I had given up and I never gotten to meet my wife or meet my children or experience that love of God that he had for me. Maybe it's not you that's struggling. Maybe it's somebody that you know. And I think of my friend Isaac, who just a few years ago, he took his own life. And I wish I was there for him. I wish I had said something. I wish I had told him how much I loved him. I don't know what you're going through. But there is a God out there that loves you. And if you want to learn more about that relationship that you could have with a God who is always there for you, who doesn't care about what you've done, a God who will never leave you, no matter how far you run. If you want to learn more about that, reach out to me. And I'd love to share that with you, about that love. But I just want to say never give up. Never give up, no matter what. Because I'm telling you, God has some amazing things in store for you. And if you know someone that you need to talk to, that you need to reach out to, do it. Because you never know what they're going through. Even if you look like an idiot in the process of saying something, just do it. Do it. You could change your life. 
could change this world with one moment of strength and vulnerability. If you need to talk, reach out. Never give up.